All right, now we're doing 7Q list filtering. This is by CM Gerber, and 89% of the people like it. So in this kata, we will create a function that takes a list of non-negative integers and strings and returns a new list with the strings filtered out. So this one here is going to be 1, 2. This one's going to be 1, 0, 15, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. All the strings not making it into the array. All right. So we could do something like a for loop. We could come down here and say uh, for let i equals 0 while i is less than l dot length i plus plus. And then we could say if. And then we're going to have to use the type of regardless of what we do. But uh, if, let's say uh, L at I equals type of, wait, do you know what type of is? Well, if you don't, the type of operator returns a string indicating the type of the operand's values. And for this one, since we're only using these two, uh, if we do type of and then 42, it's going to say number. If you do type of and then a string, it'll say string. So if type of, that's not what we do. If type of L at I equals number like this, we're going to say, well, first we need to get a variable over here. So let's say let result equal an empty array. And then we'll say results.push L at I. And then we could say return result. Let's test that out. And it works. And so let's make sure there's no tricks. And it's there's no tricks. But you know what? That's pretty long, and this whole thing is giving us uh, a bunch of huge hints on what, we, what kind of method we could use. We could use a certain kind of method on this that would definitely take the for loop out of this. You know, something there's something that we could use to make this cooler. I wish I could do this a lot smoother, but whatever, I'm an amateur. Anyway, I'm trying to get at the fact that there's this thing called the filter method. And the filter method creates a shallow copy of a portion of a given array filtered down to just the elements of the given array that pass the test implemented by the provided function. All right. So basically, we would do something dot filter. We'd have this function in here, like element, an arrow right here, and then an expression right here to filter something out. So we could get this stuff, and we could say right here, const filter list equals l and then take everything after this parenthesis parenthesis and turn it into an arrow we come down here and we could say console.log but we're just using one method so there's really no point so we'll just say l dot filter and like we said we'll have element here an arrow right here and then we'll say type of element equals number and it should put everything that's a number into a new array let's test it out and it does and attempt it still no tricks all right submit it all right and you see here they did the same thing except for uh they did it in uh normal syntax and 100 166 people went like this press control c and then press control v on the other one gotcha because who does this <laughs> anyway uh and who does this who does this 162 people i don't think so who does this anyway same thing here uh what is this anyway you get the point you get what's going on mine Let's go over to mine. Uh, just the one, two, three, four, five, six of us. Best practice in my opinion. Very much like it. And we'll see you next time.